Which goldfish flavor will go for the gold? Let's talk about that. Good Good mythical morning. Hey, you okay? I'm good. I wanted to really get the good out of there because this it is a special episode. It sounded very bad. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's, I mean, but if it made you feel good, then that's all that matters. I felt great. Welcome to the season 22 finale. Yeah, it's been a great season. It's been a great season. Listen, we had some wholesome fun with Cookie Monster. Yes. Dream come true. We made headlines with a scandalous story about Bill Murray. He has not called us. Uh, we recreated game shows from all over the world. We brought back the man who snipped our seminal vessels. That's our, what's in our ball sacks? From the dead, we brought him back. Yeah, well, from the dead. The, you remember our doctor, Dr. Hyman. Yes, Hyman's. I didn't remember, And but we now also I do. ate some stuff. Yeah, occasionally. Remember that? We ate some stuff. But the fun ain't over yet because beginning this coming Monday, we're kicking off our annual best of the year episodes. So don't miss it, all right? Uh, will there be seminal vessels? Let's wait and see. But for now, we want to end the year with everybody's favorite snack that smiles back. Now, we're talking about goldfish, and we were learned, uh, we're surprised to learn, we were learned. <laughs> we get learned. Yeah, that's what happens here. We get learned all the time. But we were surprised to learn that that lunchbox staple we all know and love has a way wider variety of flavors than we ever realized. It's time for Gut Check Goldfish Edition. We scoured the internet to source every goldfish flavor we could find, even including some no longer sold limited edition flavors. Yeah. But fun fact, uh, this was one of the hardest gut checks to source ever, according to the crew. Mm -hmm. About 10 flavors listed on the Pepperidge Farm website ended up being impossible to actually find. Mm. Even after contacting three separate eBay sellers for one flavor and a visit to the goldfish factory. Well, we I think we sent, we didn't send somebody. No, the, one of the eBay sellers. One went. of the eBay sellers was so motivated to help us, they went to the factory. And they were turned away by security. <laughs> because you can't, you can't just, you can't do that. You can't just show up and be like, I got goldfish that I need <laughs> for the internet. Yeah, apparently goldfish has been hit hard by supply chain issues, haven't we all? Yes, we uh, But today, our final number of goldfish varieties, it's still a very strong 27. Very strong. We're gonna rank each one of those 27 flavors on a scale of one to 100 based on our initial gut reaction, and then the winner in the end will be crowned the golden fish. One to 100, you say? One to 100. I've been given another visual aid. This one is not insulting at all. No. Um, <laughs> Link, you just find the fish that you feel. <laughs> okay. And that's how you come up with your score. Okay. Thanks guys, I feel so loved and supported. I will like to say I'm still a little bit jealous that no one has ever given me anything on these episodes except the food that we eat. Gentlemen, if at any point in your goldfish journey that your goldfish gulpers need a refresh, we have some nice nostalgic berry blue Kool-Aid on standby. So there you go, Rhett. That makes this sense. This is, you know, this mm. is what we're giving you today. Oh, I like how in our he also got it. It, it doesn't count unless he doesn't get it. <laughs> okay, Link, pour yours out. Um, our no. first category contains the basic goldfish flavors, basic. starting with original. Mm -hmm. Original. You're trying to get one or two? One. I got two. I was trying to get one. It does a lot of good things for Bring me. Bring that back in here. It wasn't as orange as I thought it was. Why is it not orange? This is original. This is Because you eat the ones with cheese on them. All the time. I didn't even know there was a non. Oh, wow. originals is like for babies. Very few people eat the original anymore. Everybody gets the ones with cheese on them. I yeah, I thought that was it. So that's why I'm giving it a twenty. It's not that bad, uh, but it could be so much more. Fifty. Cheddar. So this is what I thought was original. Mm -hmm. This is what you think about with the orange bottom on the bag. Bloop bloop bloop. Seventy five. Oh oh. 75. 75? It was a nice, solid 75. You want to touch it? Nope. Nope. Whole grain cheddar. Okay. Whole who, grain? Who needs that, right? I don't know why this is hard. I mean, I feel like it's my fault, KG. I feel like I'm going to accidentally hit her finger with my tongue. That's not bad. That's it's not actually not nearly as bad. I think I might call it a 68. I'm calling it a 58, I think, maybe because it's healthy. 
Parmesan. Oh, yeah. Parmesan. Tom? I don't typically it's, frequent this it's one. It's subtle. I actually like the tang that a little bit. Nice. I'm going to 77. Well, I'm going to go to 69. <laughs> pizza. Uh-huh. I don't really like pizza flavored things because it's Tastes never as good as pizza. Burnt. But not but it's still not bad. You 61. know what? You're right. You're right about that. I'm going all the way to 45. Hmm. Pretzel. Pretzel? Man, that just tastes like a pretzel, which is not my favorite snack. 47. Yeah, 29. Veggies and fruits, cheddar. What? It tastes okay. I mean, it yeah, doesn't taste bad. Yeah, they completely bad. hidden it. Like, I... Oh, no. Aftertaste. Did you get that aftertaste? Almost metallic. Hit me right at the end. 30. Ha! You can't fool me, Pepperidge! No. I didn't. 74. <laughs> and that concludes our basics category. Next is all about the aesthetics. These are variations of the classic cheddar with a different presentation. The shapes and colors category. Is okay. there really a difference? You're about to find out. Starting with princess cheddar. <laughs> oh, it's pinky. They're pink. I swear it tastes worse. I gotta say I agree. I don't, I was like, do I taste pink? <laughs> Am I tasting pink right now? 47. Uh, I mean, I still think it's okay. I think 54. Colors. Oh gosh. What color do I get? Green, with my orange, darker orange, red. Again, this is for children. I think these are pretty awesome. 85. Whoa. <laughs> because of the colors? It tastes like the best, but then it's colored. Okay, 30. Colorful. 30. Very colorful. 30. Star Wars The Mandalorian Cheddar. What? <laughs> Mandalorian. Oh, no, the, oh, these are completely different. What? It's a different shape. What is that shape? Is that Baby Yoda? It's the helmet. It's the helmet. I think it's exactly the same. It's just shape different. Yeah, I'm not falling for this, but I feel- Think of a Star Wars fan as I am. 60. 70. Huh. Disney Mickey Mouse cheddar. Okay. Okay. These guys if you eat too many of these, they'll make you a, a Disney adult. Watch out now. I can swear I can taste the Mickey in that. <laughs> like, there's something odd about it, isn't there? Something odd about it? You've been Mickeyed? Yeah, I just got Mickeyed. 25. 40. Baby cheddar. Now we're eating. Oh, they're just, oh, they're just smaller. Seems like a health hazard. 20. Um, they think, all taste exactly the same. I think they taste okay, but I think that we, we didn't Except need them to be smaller. We didn't need them to be smaller, so uh, 64. And that concludes the shapes and colors category. Up next, it's about to get extreme. This is the flavor blasted category. It's way better. Flavor blasted? Flavor you, blasted. In fact, I guarantee you, most of the time somebody hands you a goldfish, it's flavor blasted. And we're gonna start with flavor blasted cheddar and sour cream. Oh, yes! Oh. Wow. <laughs> Where have you Why? been all my life? I feel like I went to a hotel room and realized there was like a whole nother part of it. Like I've been spending the day like in this, this is a small and then I open it, oh, it's so sweet. Friend, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how I feel right now. How mm. many days did it take you to figure out that your hotel room had a second Well, that's never actually area. happened. <laughs> but I imagine it would feel like this. That is a 87. 95. Wow. Sour cream, tell me about it. Flavor blasted screaming salt and vinegar. Oh, mm. screaming? Oh. Ah! <laughs> I can't grab them. That's good stuff. Oh man, flat screen TV, HBO. <laughs> 81. That's really good, uh, 80, 83. Flavor blasted, cheddar jacked. Oh, oh jacked. let's get jacked. Oh, I got three of those. It's not bad, but when you factor in the disappointment, my face looks like, I guess 50. Yeah. I just looked at my own face. Yeah, it's like I found a stain on the pillow. <laughs> Flip it over. <laughs> 61. Flavor blasted extra cheddar. Oh, hey, get ready. Okay. D don't sway me. This is probably- Ah, uh, freak, I just got a paper cut. 
from the edge of my, look at that. Is that gonna start bleeding? Oh, wow. You see what happens, Rhett? You that, see what you- That you, feels like it was sabotage. He's, he's gonna bleed. Look at that, he's bleeding. Get a close up of that. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm gonna be choking on a baby goldfish. Oh gosh, here, put some pressure on it. After having those sour cream ones, that was not as good as I wanted it to be, but it was still good and it was still better than cheddar, so it was a solid 79. Tastes like blood, I gotta give it a zero. Oh, come on, dude, you can't, hold on, no, you can't do that. Well, hold on, no, what was it? It was me flavor blasted Extra cheddar. Extra cheddar. Extra cheddar, man. Oh my gosh. That's what happened last time, you drop one and you reach for it and hurt yourself. Just, if you drop, don't reach. 65, I'm not happy about that. Flavor like blasted extra cheesy pizza. Cheesy, boom, we know what, how we feel about pizza. It's better than the other pizza. It is by miles. Significantly better. 82. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid 71. Mm. Flavor blasted wild white cheddar. Oh, I, like white I, cheddar. I, I like. I like that better than the regular cheddar. All the blasteds are better. 84? 81. And that concludes our flavor blasted category. Oh, Up next, it's a, a change of pace with the sweet category. Okay. Starting with s'mores grams. S'mores grams? Look at this. This is like a freaking pit stop in the middle of a gut check. Yeah. Look at that. Can you get that bloody rag off of the table, please? <laughs> What'd you s'mores say? S'mores grams. S'mores grams. Oh my, Link, take a look at it. I'm sorry I just broke a rule, but there's three different things and you gotta make sure you get three of it. You gotta make sure you get. I did, I did. Wow, that's legit. Oh, the accurate. texture on that marshmallow? I really am approving this. Man, that's good. I've got to give it an 84. Um, I was gonna say 86, so I guess I will. <laughs> 86. I still got a good, uh, huh, huh. I've never seen you adopt that technique before on this show. Vanilla cupcake grams. Okay. Okay. Well, this is one thing. They're really nailing the flavor. That tastes like a Nilla wafer almost. No. It's very cupcakey because it tastes like you can taste the icing in it. If you like that, if you're into it, you should try it. I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 63. Um Yeah, I'm going to give it I, I'm just solid 70. I I liked it, but Nothing to write home about. Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice grams. Collab. I wonder how much money Dunkin' gets out of that. 15%. Um, Not a big fan, 31. This kind of tastes like a, a graham cracker with some pumpkin spice on it, 40. Yep. Honey bun grams. Oh, okay. Hmm. Tastes exactly the same as the last one without pumpkin. I'm not really getting any honey bun. 19. I, I, I like it, 56. Giant graham crackers cinnamon. Oh, good gosh, it's like a freaking dog biscuit. I'm gonna see if I can bring any one my tongue. Is this a milk bone collaboration? I just feel, yeah, I feel like I have a, I'm morally opposed to this, one. I agree, man. Yeah. 15. <laughs> I will say I really enjoyed the way that they swam in to you. Yeah, that was pretty I was, creative. I was very Everybody's doing their part. It's yeah. a season finale. We want to remind you that this is a dynamic show. Yeah. Everybody's giving their best. Anything can happen. People can get so hurt. That after the holidays, as we go into 2023, we just want, we just want you to come back. Yeah, Link will be healed by then. And that concludes our sweet category. <laughs> and finally, you know it, you love it. It's the miscellaneous category featuring a few limited edition, no longer sold flavors. Okay. Starting with jalapeno poppers. Oh. No longer sold? Are these no longer sold? These are no longer sold. I like that. I like jalapeno. It's flavor. not too spicy, which makes it palatable to me. So we're saying, yeah. bring it back. <laughs> 72. <coughs> it's getting spicier as I sit here. Old Bay. Old Bay. And is this gone too? No longer sold. Woo! Put that in your clam chowder. Oh, that, that's a good idea. What in the world? Um, Old Bay is just kind of, 
I can take it or leave it, to be honest with you. 63. It, oh, did that offend the New I Englanders? did not expect that from you. I mean, I just think there's so many better seasonings. <clears throat> Maybe 40 years ago, it was great. I, I'm giving it a 49 because the more I tasted it, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't wow. work. Megabytes sharp cheddar. Oh, big daddies. That's how I ate it, I am. No, that's the first one we've had that's that size. Uh huh. I like the way it let the air gets in there. 70. It did taste good. Yeah. 70. 70. Megabytes cheddar jalapeno. Oh. Mm -hmm. Again, are these discontinued? I need to know. These are not discontinued. Girl, I like the bigger size. I like I the airiness well. in there. I'm going into the 83 realm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 76. And that concludes the miscellaneous category. You have now tasted all of the available goldfish. Your yes. scores will now be tabulated, so you may more closely judge the top four goldfish flish flavors. All right. Get them goldfish out here. <laughs> you know what's happening over at sport.com? The Sport Awards. Yes, they're rounding up all the best stuff they ate this year. And then for two weeks, starting on December 19th, they're going to be revealing the best crunchy snack, Ooh. the best candy, oh. the best ice cream, and more. So visit sport.com to know what you should be eating. I know I'm going to. Okay, guys, according to you, the top four goldfish products in no particular order are s'mores grams, mm. flavor blasted cheddar and sour cream, uh -huh. flavor blasted wild white cheddar, mm -hmm. flavor blasted screaming salt and vinegar. But before you crown the best one, would you like to know which product you uh, deemed the worst? Yes. Oh, it was that big one. It's yeah. pretty obvious. Yeah, it's the giant graham crackers cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, so flavor blasted. I, I like that s'mores made it yeah. to the top. You know, we get all get all up and up and haughty about our uh, savoriness. I mean, I already are, know how the I flavor love these blasted guys. really bring it. Um, it's good I work. I can't imagine there. getting better than that. To be honest with you, it kind of makes sense because my favorite chip. We love cheddar sour cream chips. It's cheddar sour cream. We also love salt and vinegar chips, though. The, they are so okay. So this is this is so like blasted. in the same category as this, but not as good as this because nope. it doesn't have the sour cream. Exactly. Super solid though. All right, screaming. Really packs a punch at first. Very vinegary. Man, they're so different. I think we got to lose cheddar, white cheddar. We haven't even eaten the s'mores yet though. Oh yeah. Between these three, I mean, look at these that. are better. This might be, is this the first time that like an original slash original like extra isn't in That's this the final consideration? The original is forgotten and for good reason. I like the fact that you can play with the ratios here. Yes. And each individual piece brings its own strength and they've, they've done it across the okay. board. So you agree with me getting rid of the, these are great, but they're not in the top three. So it's really a question of like, which one is more than that? I do, well, I feel like I'm standing by what I said earlier, which I prefer ultimately savory, and I feel like that's where a goldfish sing the most, but this is just such a surprise that I think it makes it into our top three, but not all the way in the top two. Yeah, we're gonna put salt and vinegar at number two. And that means that our official golden fish is flavor blasted cheddar and sour cream. Woo! Oh! Look at that, now get the fish moving. I feel hey. very good about what we've done here this entire year. Thanks for being oh, your mythical best. Thank you for one. making us a part of your daily routine. Remember to come back next week for the best of 2022 countdown episodes. Yes, and as always, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Mike Gilley in Waxachi, Texas, and I teach first grade, and it's the first day of school. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, what happens when it lands on one of us? <laughs> Good question. Uh, we gotta show up at that class? <laughs> Click the top link to watch us build our dream school lunches in Good Mythical War. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. To find out all the best stuff the sport crew ate in 2022, head over to sports.com.